What's going on, y'all? Grind and Motivate back in this thing again, man, with another video, man. And this is just like a little silly, simple video, man, right here. I thought it was funny. At the same time, I thought it was silly. And I want to see what you guys think, man. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Of course, put your opinion down below here with everybody has to say. Let's have a discussion, man. Make sure you answer the questions that I ask towards the end. But the name of this clip right here is off of World Star. What is this myth? Harlem Show has people upset over Barber talking crazy while the lady is in the chair. Let's go ahead and dive into it, man, and see is he really talking crazy? Or is this just like everyday struggle out here in these streets, man? Let's see. All right, y'all, so the first comment to start the video off, they'll go to any and all lengths to portray our men in a negative light. The fact that a Malcolm okay, this is icky. Bros don't even be talking like this. Let's go and see what he's talking like. Face anything, like, ah, ah, ah. Look, I'm telling you, bros. All right, man. <laughs> Y'all heard what he said? <laughs> Skeeter in the face, like, ah, ah. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I already saw the clip, but it's still funny to me. I, I laughed about it yesterday for like 10 minutes. I, I can't help it, man. It was just so silly. Like, I don't know, but let's see what this next one say, man. So we got E to the J to the M. Ain't no way this is flying in any barbershop across America. I promise you, these writers and directors need to just produce a Birth of a Nation sequel. Got black men looking like savages. What y'all think about that, man? Let's keep going. Bust it wide open for a six piece nugget. No fries. Yo, you gonna handle this? He's dope. All right, next one. Distro. My barbershop only argue about sports. And who made the best food in the city? This is so corny and embarrassing. <laughs> Let's keep going. You know the rules. Yo, Ed, chill. You're a lady for that. Maybe the lady should try so hard to look like a dude. Mom shop's a safe space? You're not using the term safe space correctly, dumbass. Yeah, well, she just laying there all nutted on this shit. Yo, CJ, please get your boy. Todd, what can I do? Ask family. I've been coming here for years. We've been, but me and Ed are family. You know, mom's just a son's nephew. Cousin's not. So anyway, I'm gonna titty fuck the hole, right? <laughs> and then suddenly I realized, sure, you got one titty bigger than the other. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So what y'all think about that, man? I thought it was silly that people were outraged about this because it's a clip, and then literally the people in the clip are outraged about it. So the lady's mad about it. The the art the barber owner is mad about it. So, I mean, I'm not really understanding what the big deal is. And then people, you got people in there acting like they holy. They're not like they go to the Christian Mingle Barbershop where folks just talk about cakes and cookies all day. No, that's not the case, man. Yeah, we talk about sport. Yeah, we talk about who got the best food in the city and all that. But at the same time, we talk about them ladies, too. Every time at my barbershop, a lady passed by the, passed by the window, every single barber, and they're like, ooh, look at that. Oh, man, what the hell? Look at that shit right there. Yeah, man, and I think one of the worst things I probably heard a barber say at the barbershop, it was funny as hell to me, I'm not going to lie, man, but it was bad. So this lady was was talking about something. Yeah, huh. I, I, she had braces. She was like, yeah, I, I got stuff all in my braces. I got stuff all in my braces. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And he was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take this thing and floss, the, floss them braces out. <laughs> It, it's bad, but it was funny as hell. Like at the time, I, I probably laughed about it for like 10 minutes, man. You know when something funny happens at the barber shop and the barber might be hitting your mustache or something like that, and he can't cut your hair for like 10 minutes. It was one of those situations, man. But uh, yeah, it, yeah, I don't, I don't think that that's too far fetched from what really goes on in the barber shop. I do think that depending on who's in the barber shop, that you should censor and be tactful with your words and everything like that. Like if you've got kids in the barbershop, people aren't talking like that with kids in the barbershop. People aren't talking like that when there are elderly women or el or, uh, or even sometimes elderly men in the barbershop. And and most elderly men know what the hell is going on because they were young at one point and they cared about all this kind of stuff. And, and I think people are silly to think that people are just uh, sugar and spice and everything nice. Just like how we talk about with the with these girls and the red pill stuff and all that, we talk about this with the men are also doing silly stuff too. I mean, it's I mean it's just human nature. People just people talk crazy. Y'all think when y'all pass by with them with them tights and them leggings on that men are just like, oh man, I love the way she's got her quads busting out. She she's got gains. No, they're talking about messing. Oh man, I, I, I love to goddamn bust that thing out. That's what they're, that's what they're talking about. I don't know, man. But what's the what's the worst thing that you have ever heard 
in a barbershop. And ladies, I know that y'all, y'all be having folks talking crazy in the salon. Don't act, cause my mom did hair. Don't act, my mom did hair. So I know y'all be talking crazy, man. So let me know what's the craziest thing you heard somebody talk about in the salon. Is this too far fetched or is it not? Let me know down in the comments below, man. Let's see, let's see what the comments are saying about this. All right, man, so it says liberal propaganda. Another dude copied him. Another corny lame video trying to shame men while blocks in the salon talking about prick sizes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just like I said, man, I know y'all be talking crazy in the salon, so I mean, it's not really far-fetched. It's nothing, it's nothing outlandish about it. People talk crazy in the locker room. People talk crazy when they're by their cell with their homies. People, yeah, it just, it just, it's just how it is. Why is she eavesdropping on that conversation is the question. I mean, he is talking loud, so I ain't no eavesdropping. The 45 second clip shows me all I need to know, and blah, blah, blah. So fake and weak. No hood barbershop talk like this. Nice try, though. Uh, I mean, they kind of do. I've heard plenty of dirty talk in the barbershop, and I'm all for it, but the shots in my hood had enough class to turn it down when a woman came in to get her hair done. Yeah, thank you. That's real. You, get the, you got the little lady coming in there trying to get her son's haircut and all that. You, everybody shut the hell up. That's how it goes. Nobody's just sitting there like, man, yeah, I skewed in the face. Rah, rah, rah. That's not how it goes. That's not how it goes at all. They might they might say something when the lady passed by, but they'll say it amongst themselves. Like, like the lady dropped her son out. She got a big old booty trying to get a free haircut and all that. Everybody be like, you see that thing right there? I want to I wanna kill that. Like, it's just, it's just easy little simple stuff like that. Horribly acted. Yeah, I agree. It was horribly acted, but it is real. This is a definition. This is a definition of a conversation that can happen, but everyone is always conscious of the environment and the other people in the barbershop. Right. I don't understand the outrage, man. People are just so they're just so sensitive these days. It really makes no sense, man. I mean, I mean, you could argue that it's that, it, that it's like a a portrayal of a negative light or whatever thing or whatever like that but i mean who cares it's not it's not the worst thing i can see if they was like yeah we got we got folks killing folks and robbing and all that kind of stuff and yeah i don't know one of them lame ass movies like uh like what's that movie that uh the the dance with omari on it uh it went stunt the yard it was another movie that it was lame as hell though man but you know them overly black movies and stuff where they just be cringe talking and just lame as hell and saying stuff that we don't even say yeah, I don't know, but I just, I just don't think it was that bad. I thought it was hilarious, to be honest, man. I, I'm I'm not really outraged about it. Like like I said, man, everybody knows how to turn it down when the little kids and the moms and all them is in there. What do you think about it, man? Like I said earlier, let me know your funniest or craziest thing you've heard in the salon or the barbershop. Do you think this is crazy? Or do you think these folks are just bugging? Let me know down in the comments below, man. Y'all have a great day if you watched up to this point. Appreciate you. See you next time.